Pamela Denise Anderson is a Canadian-American actress, model, and media personality. She is best known for her modeling work in Playboy magazine and for her role as C.J. Parker on the television series Baywatch. Wikipedia. Born, July 1, 1967, age 57 years, Ladysmith, Canada. Spouse, Dan Hayhurst, M. 2020, Rick Salomon, M. 2014-2015, more. Children, Brandon Thomas Lee, Dylan Jagger Lee. Parents, Carol Anderson, Barry Anderson. Siblings, Jerry Anderson. Citizenship, Canada, United States. Pamela Denise Anderson was born on Canada Day, Saturday, July 1, 1967, in Ladysmith, British Columbia, Canada at 4.08 Pacific Standard Time, to young newlywed parents, Barry Anderson and Carol Anderson. Her ancestry includes Finnish, English, Irish, and Volga German. During her childhood, she moved to the city of Vancouver. She has a younger brother Jerry, born 1971. As a teenager, Pamela went to Highland Secondary School. She was an acrobat and gymnast between ages 7 to 12 and an athlete throughout her entire school years. She waitressed at ages 16 to 19. Pamela was first discovered at a British Columbia Lions football game when her image was shown on the stadium screen. The fans cheered her and she was brought down to the football field. Because of her fame in Vancouver, she signed a commercial contract with Labatt's Beer to be the Blue Zone Girl. More advertising assignments followed, and soon Playboy approached her. In October 1989, Pamela was on the cover of Playboy magazine. With success from Playboy, Pamela Anderson moved to Los Angeles, California, in 1990. In 1991, she made her television debut on Home Improvement, 1991, where she starred as Lisa, the Tool Time Girl. Soon, she got attention from viewers nationwide, which got her the role of C.J. Parker on Baywatch, 1989. She was then on one of the most viewed television series worldwide. She made her big screen debut on Raw Justice, 1994. Soon after, Pamela met Motley Crue drummer Tommy Lee on New Year's Eve, 1994, in New York City. In February 1995, they got married in Cancun, Mexico. They both returned to Los Angeles and stunned the world. In the spring of 1996, Pamela starred as the title role of Barb Wire, 1996. While filming, she suffered a miscarriage. Pamela and Tommy were devastated, but there was hope for the couple when, on June 6, 1996, Brandon Thomas Lee was born. Soon later, a pornographic video of Pamela and Tommy was stolen from their home. Both of them sued an internet website for stealing the video. Their case was not settled, and the video is still on the internet. Meanwhile, Pamela and Tommy were having a rocky marriage, but, on December 29, 1997, Dylan Jagger Lee was born. Two months later, Pamela filed for divorce when her husband assaulted her. Tommy was sentenced to six months in jail. In late 1998, she starred on a television series called VIP, 1998. Later, she stunned the world again by having her breast implants removed. In fall 2001, she started to date singer Kid Rock, they announced their engagement in the spring of 2002. Then, Pamela announced she had been infected with hepatitis C. The cause of it was Pamela shared a needle with her ex-husband Tommy for a tattoo. Immediately, Pamela went into treatment and her series was cancelled. In the fall of 2003, she broke up with Kid Rock and starred on an animated series by Stan Lee called Stripperella, 2003. A lifelong animal rights advocate, Pamela soon joined PETA, working on many issues, including fur, slaughter of chickens, and supporting vegetarians. In 2005, she starred on a Fox comedy series called Stacked, 2005. Pamela also teaches at her son's Sunday school and still poses for magazines. At a BC Lions football game by the Jumbotron cameraman. Quickly became known as the Blue Zone Girl, commercial campaign, face of trendsetters Jim. Playboy called, said no, too shy. 
Phone rang at home during a fight with ex-fiancé, she decided to spontaneously accept an offer to shoot a cover only asked mom. She agreed. The family agreed after speaking with Mr. Hefner. 14 American Playboy Covers Worked with many photographers and artists worldwide. Home Improvement, 3 Seasons Baywatch, 5 Seasons VIP, 5 Seasons Barb Wire, Borat Theater, Aladdin, Panto, Wimbledon and Liverpool She founded the Pamela Anderson Foundation, is an activist for animal and human rights, NDVH, and environmental issues and is on the board of the Sea Shepherd. Pamela loves architecture and is designing eco-friendly prefab small dwellings. She has a collection of linens and shares time between the beaches of California and Vancouver Island equally. She was a 2013 New York City Marathon runner. Family, Spouses Dan Hayhurst, December 24, 2020, present, filed for divorce. John Peters, January 20, 2020 to February 1, 2020, annulled. Rick Salomon, January 11, 2014 to April 29, 2015, divorced. Rick Salomon, October 6, 2007 to March 24, 2008, annulled. Kid Rock, August 3, 2006 to February 1, 2007, divorced. Tommy Lee, February 19, 1995, to February 28, 1998, divorced, two children. Children. Dylan Jagger Lee. Brandon Thomas Lee. Parents. Barry Anderson. Carol Anderson. Relatives. Jerry Anderson, sibling. Trivia. In May 2004, she wrote a $20,000 check to gymnast Mohini Bardwaj after reading a story where Mohini said she could not afford to compete at the United States Olympic Trials. Anderson attended the United States Olympic Gymnastic Trials in Anaheim on June 26 to 27 with a GoMO sign. Mother, with ex-husband Tommy Lee, of sons Brandon Thomas Lee, Brandon Thomas Lee, B. June 6, 1996, and Dylan Jagger Lee, Dylan Jagger Lee, B. December 29, 1997. In 1999, won the Linda McCartney Award for Animal Rights Protectors. She's appeared on Playboy magazine's cover 14 times, more than any other person, before having her sons in 1996 and 1997 with husband Tommy Lee, she miscarried their first child in June 1995. In November 2006, she suffered her second miscarriage during marriage to Kid Rock. Quotes. What I know in life runs the gamut of the feminist experience. The true meaning of feminism is this, to use your strong womanly image to gain strong results in society. I don't know if I'd recommend surgery women's bodies are beautiful I've had a love-slash-hate relationship with my breasts my whole life. New York Post. I am the ultimate California girl, which is funny, being that I'm Canadian. With low expectations, it's very easy to surprise people. Natural beauty takes at least two hours in front of a mirror. My mom's quote, We must educate ourselves and our children to understand that porn is for losers, they write, a boring, wasteful and dead-end outlet for people too lazy to reap the ample rewards of healthy sexuality. On Julian Assange, we talk about the world. He's a very good teacher. Julian is one of my favorite people. He is a refugee. He might be the most famous, refugee of our time, famous for being persecuted. 2017, on Julian Assange, Julian is trying to free the world by educating it. It is a romantic struggle, I love him for this. I understand that our affair and the curiosity surrounding that might bring some attention to his situation. That's fine, but I'd rather not go into private details. Let's just say everyone deserves love. 2017, why WikiLeaks is the only trustworthy source of information, there are people in the world that don't question authority. They just think, oh, somebody smarter than me has figured it out, and I'm gonna go on with my day, and I don't have any feeling about it because I'm too busy. I think that's dangerous. 2018, on Julian Assange, we talk about everything. We talk about the Bible, we talk about what's happening with my kids, what's happening with his family. 
It's not just about politics, even though I do take a lot of notes, and it's so overwhelming, the information he gives me. 2018 On Hugh Hefner, I hate when people say bad things about him because I believe he empowered women and I believe he did so many great things for civil rights. I say Playboy was my university. I learned about activism, I learned about art, I learned about artists, and there were always really colorful, wonderful people there. It wasn't seedy or salacious or sleazy. It was cool. 2018 On her most unpleasant casting, for the Steven Seagal movie Under Siege, 1992, I remember him saying to me, if you don't do it, then that girl across the hall will do it, and she'll get the job. And I said, well, good, goodbye. 2018, on sexual misconduct during castings, you need to have that spidey sense or whatever it is that this is not right. When someone answers the door in a bathrobe, don't go in that room. Or if you go in the room, get that role. Laughs, sorry, now I'm really in trouble. I remember Revlon and Guest Jeans both offered me huge campaigns, and I didn't feel right about going into a room and sitting on a bed. I just had this sense that this was not going to go well. 2018, I speak at the Kremlin or I speak at Vladivostok at the economic conference about green energy and a green economy. And I don't know what people are expecting from me. I can talk about whales and the environment, biodiversity of the oceans. I can talk about anything I want because I think people are still looking at me, trying to figure out, why is she here? 2018, when her first starring vehicle, Barbed Wire, 1996, was introduced to buyers at Canon 1995, this is before we shot one frame of film. It was so out of control. Boats were running into each other and people were falling off the boats with cameras. I was in complete shock. 2018, if Hugh Hefner exploited women, he's empowered so many women and broke down walls. We exploited ourselves. We had the choice to do it, and we weren't vulnerable in that way that he was exploiting us. First time posing for Playboy, doing that first photo shoot gave me this little kind of portal on what it felt like to be a sensual woman. My sexuality was mine. I took my power back. On her days at the Playboy Mansion, I learned that there are such things as philanthropists and art and gentlemen and chivalry. And as crazy as people really want me to always say something bad about it, I didn't have a bad experience that was so much better than where I had come from. Salary Baywatch, 1989, $60,000 slash episode <laughs>